hello, hello, and welcome to Mickey Art, Mickey Art. <laughs> I thought you guys might be getting bored of hello and welcome to Mickey Art, and this is Michelle and House. So I thought I'd like, you know, amp it up a little bit, have a bit of fun. Cool. All right, so let's get started. As you can see, I'm still covered in paint from yesterday's painting. It's not yesterday's painting. You know that. I know that. And I'm going to see if I can actually do a painting where I feel like I can do my ghosties, which is what I wanted to do yesterday. But I didn't because I loved what I did before I put the ghosts in. So I didn't. <laughs> Alright. So, we're going to do it a little different. I'm going to use this because then I'm not wasting what's left in there. there. Alright. But I'm going to do a flip cut with the same colours that I did yesterday's spiral pour with. So I'm going to do a flip cut. I'm going to cover this whole piece. And <coughs> we'll see what it cho chooses to end up as. So we've got just a touch of white in there. Let's go with a touch of blue. Touch of iridescent, or a bit more than a touch. Uh, oh, we had a bit of too thick on the Payne's Grey in the last video. So let's add a quick swishel of water in there that's better now I'm going to do something a little bit weird and put a couple of drips of silicon just there just like that in there and then I'm going to go like that now this is the bottom of our cup guys so that's going to come out on top so we might or might not end up with something funky so let's get some more color in here so we've got white ultramarine Iridescent medium. Oh, that's a lot of iridescent medium. <laughs> and Payne's Grey, which is kind of a blue back black. Um and I'm gonna Put some Payne's Grey on and just sort of smear it around a bit, give us a base coat. You can, you might be able to see that blue black happening against the black black as I swipe it around the record. Or you might not. Okay. Now the other thing I'm going to do, because I'm weird, is just see if I can get some little splatters of, here we go, silicon, and just do that, because I can, why not? There is silicon in the ultramarine blue. But not in the white and not in the iridescent medium and not in the paint's grey. So are we ready for this? One, two, three, but oh, not too bad, not too bad. What do you reckon it's gonna come out like? Blub. Yeah. 
just like that. Oh look, it looks like a starry night under there. <laughs> How cool is that? Okay. We've got definitely got some silicon happening. Which is good because I put quite a bit in there. I'm that far away from the paint guys. It's definitely not cooking the paint, just warming it, popping in air bubbles. And by warming it, it invites that silicon to come up to the top. What do you reckon? Is it going to work? Do I have enough paint? That's always a great question. Look at those cells. We definitely have cells. That's always a good sign. Don't actually want to lose any paint off there. Stretching it out. Oh, really big cells because we're stretching them a long way. This is so funny. Well, I'd love to point out to you guys, if you're watching this in a year's time, <laughs> when you're watching a video, check how many more videos that person has posted. I had somebody tell me how to paint and they'd watch one of like video number 25. I was like, yep, still learning at that point. Check video 317 and see if you still have that judgment. <laughs> I think I learned that one a while ago. Um, so if you're still learning and you <laughs> think it's, you know, going to take you ages to learn, go back and watch my zero zero one video and um i promise you it'll bring you um inspiration to keep trying So one of the tricks of this method of painting is if you don't have enough paint, um, add some more in so that it creates like this critical mass and it pulls the paint that you do have down and allows this, the added stuff that you added to drip off. See how I'm capturing this in my hand because once I'm happy with this edge I 
I'm going to add it to another edge that needs some more. And yes, I could be using black and just not have to worry about disgusting mess color. And why not reuse and recycle? So I'm recording this at Friday afternoon. It's getting close to knockoff time. And uh, so if you're hearing lots of vehicles going on outside, that's because the staff are starting to come back to the yard. Come on. You can do this. up some more off the off the table now one of the biggest problems about not having enough paint and having to do what I'm doing is you do end up with more jagged looking cells. Right, here we go. Nearly off on this bit. Just tap, 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 tap. Come on. You can do it. There's that bit. And that bit. Alright, so we're just going to let that bit fall off. But one of the cool things about what I've done on this one is it's giving the ear of what I'm actually after. Now, my target with this painting is to create a night sky with ghosts in it. Oddly enough, there is Halloween coming up at the end of the month and um, this month's challenge on the Acrylic Pouring for Fun Facebook group is Halloween themed pours. Come on. How much paint do I have to put on here for you to Bring this colour down for me. So how many ghostly shapes can you see in this already? <laughs> By allowing these cells to go all misshapen like this 
it's actually a deliberate act on my part because they're starting to look like ghosts. Come on. I don't have time for this. Come on, you lot. Next time, remind me to put more paint in. We've even got some, check this one out, that look like they've got little eyes in them. And there's a pair dancing together here. Oops, I need to turn it around for you guys to see that. I just want that blue to get over the edge doll. You can do it. There it goes. There it goes. Nearly there. Come on. Come on. That's what I was after. Yay. <gasps> Done it. Bum, bum, bum. All right. So now we have that. I'm going to clean my hands and come back. All right. Clean hands. Ta-da! <laughs> Magic. So let me get you down. And I'm going to show you how it looks at the moment. And then I'm going to do some tutuing. So just from this look, you can see there's quite a few ghostly looking shapes. This one... Is a little dude here or a big dude here? You could make this. Oops, how, how do I need to have it for you that way? Kind of looks like an ethereal sort of dude. Lots of ghosts crawling all over the place in here. And there's those ones I thought. Look at them, they're like they have a conversation in the corner. <laughs> There's a whole family of them. Or oh, maybe maybe they're doing a play to an audience. <laughs> yeah, that one's got arms. So lots going on in this one. Lots of ghostly type shapes. So let's have a fiddle and see what we can add to really bring out and pop. Or really screw it up. Pop it, I think, is the best option. So let's get you lined up so you can see. Here we go. And What I would like to do here is just add little tiny pinpricks of the dark just to give them extra eyes and mm, who else needs an eye? A black eye. <laughs> Who wants a black eye? Come in to get you. <laughs> black eyes. So what I'd love to invite you to is um, sharing a different possibility with the world with regards to ghosts. What if ghosts actually aren't scary? Um... What if they're just 
here because they don't realize there's another possibility or they don't even know they're dead you ever remember that movie Beetlejuice what if them not realizing they were dead was actually the whole point Or what if they made a commitment to somebody to stay and hang out and play or look after them or um, not sure why I did that. It just uh, it looks looks more like a dolphin than a ghost. <laughs> What if their only problem was that we've made them so bad and wrong that we've stopped being able to recognise what they're trying to say? Read this amazing book called, by Shannon O'Hara one time called Talk to the Entities. Um, it's quite a fascinating read. Lots of stories from her childhood and stuff where it's kind of a little bit like um, that movie. Oh, was it called Sixth Sense? With the famous line, I see dead people. Um, I don't know what I'm doing here, guys. I'm, I'm actually getting I'm not to touch it anymore. Um... So what if seeing dead people actually wasn't a requirement for being able to help them? That's what I'd like to ask. Anyway. Touch base with me if you want a link to that book or any more information. And weird. Why not use Halloween as a way to teach kids not to be scared of ghosts? But to use it to their advantage. No, I'm going to leave that as it is, guys. I really don't think that's... I do think it needs to go that way around though for the simple fact that <laughs> like these guys having a conversation up the top <laughs> maybe they're getting married and these guys are all watching the wedding what do you reckon who knows If you know, let me know in the comments. And what else do you see that I haven't seen? Like, are there some faces or some ghosts? I've just seen this little dude down here. Um, where are you seeing the ghosts? I'd love to know. Anyway, I'm going to leave it to dry. Let's let it dry and let's come back. Your time. In three, two, oh, hold on a second. I haven't torched this since I spread it, have I? Let's do that. Just quickly. Otherwise, I'll turn the camera off and you go, and then I'll do it and something massive will change. I have to turn the camera back on again. Lots of little air bubbles, which I've found does tend to happen when you're using a record as a base because the air bubbles... From the little lines in the record. But no big major. Because there's lots of cells in there already. Alright. I'm going to leave it. To dry. And I'll be back. Three. Two. One. It's basically dried exactly the same. Uh, that's the bonus of how thick I have my paint. 
um, my paintings tend not to move. So, what am I noticing? I'm noticing there are a couple of patches um, that are super duper shiny, and that's over here and over here. Um, but where the iridescent medium mixed, it's not so shiny. It's really knocked the shine off. I mean, it's got iridescence, but see how that really, that bit there really shines the, the light back. But when we get into the rest of it, it's quite dull in its reflection. And it sparkles. <laughs> so it's like, hmm, do we want shiny or do we want sparkles? And... The other bonus of that is, as soon as you put a gloss coat over the top, you're going to have the sparkles and the shiny all together. Yay! So, we've got a beautiful little love heart here, which I'm quite loving. Our arguing ghosts over here and their lovely little ghost audience. Maybe it's a ghost wedding, maybe. Oh, who knows? <laughs> That's the bit I'm talking about when I'm talking about my ghost argument. They really do look like... This one looks like a really unhappy dude. And this one's kind of responding back. Um, so, and that's the audience down in front. And others gathering. Um... So, yeah, I, I I do like this. It's cool. Um, you know, you could see it as a night sky. You could see it as... Um, it does kind of do Halloween-y sky look to me. Um, but that's just because that's what I'm seeing. What I've just seen here is like a, a, rat, um, a goat's head you've got let me bring it up so you can see so there's its muzzle and its eyes and then its horns kind of hug that heart and its body comes down into here so that's what I'm seeing in there so let me know if you see anything else in there I'm gonna put it back down like that and so it's from that perspective so if you say turn it upside down and stand on your le head and then um look backwards between your legs i'll know how to look at it <laughs> how does it get any better than this all right guys i i had fun with this one i know it took a really long time for it to move um, but hey, how's it getting any better than that? What magic can you create and what magic can I create and how much fun can we all have doing it? Yay! So there we go. That's it. That's me for now. And I am going to sign out, sign up and sign in, go have some dinner. And I will be back with you tomorrow tomorrow i love you tomorrow we're only a day away i adore you all if you have um enjoyed this please hit the like button subscribe leave me a comment about what you see or what you would have done different or what you'd add or take when you would have stopped or anything like that I'd love to hear from you and I look forward to sharing more paintings again with you in the future. So hit subscribe so that you get to see those as well. I adore you. Bye bye.